Today we're going to be shooting analog film portraits with this new Harman reusable film camera and a Dowlight Prismo edition. Hey everyone, Sean here with photodeox.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the Harman reusable film camera. I just recently picked this up and it's kind of an interesting idea. It's a fusion of a basic point and shoot camera and those disposable film cameras from the 90s. You know those ones your mom used to buy at the grocery store. You'd snap a couple shots, throw it in the mail and you'd get your prints back. While it is very much like a disposable film camera, it's actually reusable. Uh, you can pop open the back and put a new cartridge to film in. So it's basically a bare bones point and shoot film camera. And I love when companies create new film cameras because we don't get a lot of them these days. Now this camera is pretty primitive. I have a data sheet on it here. It has a 31 millimeter lens. It's limited to an F10 aperture. And the shutter speed is 1 1 20th of a second. So you're going to either need a flash or an off camera light if you're shooting in dark locations. It has a single element lens, which I'm pretty sure is entirely plastic. And it focuses from one meter to infinity. Uh, what they used to call back in the day, focus free, which was a total BS marketing way of saying, this camera is limited to one focus setting. The camera does have a built-in flash. You just turn it on by switching this switch. And when the light on the top is red, that means you're ready to go. And you just fire a shot. The camera is $30 and that includes two rolls of Kentmere Pan 400 black and white film, which I actually shot with this camera. I took it into the city and I did some street photography. Here's some of the images I captured. And as you can see, yeah, the set focus kind of limited what I could shoot. There's a couple of shots that are out of focus and the shutter speed is one one twentieth of a second. So yeah, if there's too much movement, you will get a little bit of blurred motion like I got here. Junkie plastic camera, check black and white film that I shot with this super soft lens. So I get this kind of grainy soft look, double check. So basically I have everything I need to be a lo-fi hipster photographer, except for an attractive girlfriend, but I'm working on it. But the real reason we're here is to do some creative analog portraits with creative lighting. And that's where this new Prismo edition Dow light comes in. Uh, this is a Dow light tube light that photo Deox makes. And the Prismo edition gives you full RGB color control, which means you can basically create uh, any color that you can imagine uh, and bring it into a scene. And this is an incredibly useful tool for photo shoots. You know, you're out on location, you don't really have the bandwidth or the manpower to set up complicated strobes or set up lights on light stands. You can basically just hold this light out in front of you and hold your camera and just snap away uh, with this beautiful 360 degree RGB WT lighting. Now, because we're going to have the full color gamut control of the Prismo Edition Dow light on our set, black and white film is just not going to cut it. So let's load some Portra 800 color film into our camera and get shooting. On this shoot, we are shooting with our model Abby, and we're actually using two Dow light Prismo editions to create a beautiful two-toned color look. I've got one Dowlight Prismo on a stand and the other one is being held by my assistant, Eric. And this is a fast, easily movable setup. So in a very short amount of time, we're able to move the lights around our location and create a lot of different looks. Now, because this camera has an aperture of F10 and the shutter speed is 1 1 20th of a second, this is not a great setup for shooting in low light. So we maxed out both Dowlight Prismos as bright as they would go. And then I had my lab also push the film to stops. And this is Portra 800 film. And the great thing about Portra film is it's very, very flexible. You can get a lot out of it. Some people have called it the auto ISO of film. And yeah, as you can see by pushing it to stops, we were able to get fairly good exposures for most of the images. Uh, we have added some extra grain by pushing the film, but I actually kind of like the grainy look and when combined with the wild colors, it gives it a really great retro feel. I love shooting analog film photography and it's even more fun when you combine it with a weird camera like this Harman reusable film camera and an amazing light like the Dowlight Prismo edition. So I'm definitely going to use this setup again and it was a total blast to shoot with. If you'd like to learn more about our Dowlight Prismo edition or the Harman reusable film camera, click the links in the description below and click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can get more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with photodeox.com and happy film shooting.